Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's. Today I'm going to show you how to add and use multiple versions of Minecraft Forge and add mods using the new launcher for the PC version of Minecraft. So let's get started. I would expect that Minecraft is already installed to your computer. As you can see here it is on mine and I only have the latest version 1.14.4. What I want to do now is show you where I've saved this to my computer. So I'm going to hit the Windows plus the R button and then I'm going to type in percentage app data percentage and hit the OK button. It will bring me to this folder where I'll go into the .minecraft folder. As you can see here, not a lot is in here right now. I only have the latest version and that's it. So when I hit play here, it's going to load it for the first time and what happens there is it's going to start to create a whole bunch of new folders and files in this .minecraft folder. And now the latest version of Minecraft is loading up for the first time. I don't need it, I don't want to play it though, so I'm just going to exit here, quit game, and I'm going to uh, minimize this right now, and I'm going to show you how to get the different versions of Forge and how to get the mods. So you want to go to this website that is in the description below, and you will just want to pick the versions of Forge that you want. So I'm going to pick three versions starting with the latest 1.14.4. I'm just going to save it to my computer. I'm going to do the same thing for 1.12.2. Click on the installer button and then save. And then finally I'm going to do it for version 1.7.10. I'm going to click on the installer button and save. I'll now open my folder where they've downloaded to and as you can see here there are three different versions of Forge and to run them just double click uh, and don't do anything with any of these options here just hit OK and it's going to load 1.7.10 so after that's done just hit OK and do the same thing for the other versions so I'm going to double click on 1.12.2 I'm going to leave everything the way it is, just hit OK, it's going to load it, hit OK, and then finally for 1.14.4, same thing, double click, don't change anything, hit OK. This looks a little different obviously, but it's still going to load the version of Forge for 1.14.4, so don't worry about what it looks like. Once it's done, hit OK. I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to close it. Uh, now I'm going to show you where to get your mods. So go to this website here that is in the description below, and you can find mods here for any version of Minecraft Forge. I've already opened a new window for 1.14.4 mods. I'm going to just click on any random ones here, including this uh, teleport mod. Uh, hit the download button, hit save. And I think I'll find one more mod for 1.14.4. I'm just going to hit back here and let's pick another random one here. Uh, we'll do the Shameless Mobs mod, which is right there. So click on it, scroll all the way to the bottom. You should find the link, there it is. Once you're in here, click download, hit save. Here they are in my downloads folder, so I'm just going to cut them out of here. And I'm going to hit Windows and R one more time. Make sure that percentage sign, app data, percentage sign is uh, typed in. And then hit OK. Go into the .minecraft folder, go into versions. And I just downloaded mods for 1.14.4. So I'm going to go in there and create a new folder called mods. Paste your mods into the mod folder. I'm going to do the same thing for my other versions, 1.7.10, new folder, type crawl it mods, and you can go back to this website here and find any uh, mods you want for this version of Minecraft. So I'm just gonna type in 1.7.10, hit enter. Uh, the first link here brings you to where all the mods are for this version of Forge, and you can scroll through here and find as many as you want. I already have a couple downloaded to my computer, so I'm going to just drag and drop them into my mods folder here. There they are. 
And finally, I want to do the same thing for 1.12.2. I want to create a mods folder. And I've already downloaded a mod for 1.12.2, so I'm just going to drag it and drop it in here. That's all you really need to do to add mods from here on out for any version that you want. So back in Minecraft, as you can see, I have two versions of Forge in here, 1.7.10 and 1.14.4. My 1.12 is missing. Here's how you find it. Go into Installations, click on New, go to your Versions, scroll all the way to the bottom and there's my missing 1.12.2 I can actually name this one so I'm gonna name it Forge 1.12.2 for whatever reason I can't rename 1.7.10 or 1.14.4 they just are what they are and, and that's fine but here's the important part once you're in here click on this edit button go to the game directory hit browse Make sure you're in appdata.minecraft versions and find the version that coincides with your Forge version. In this case, 1.7.10. Hit OK. Hit Save. Do the same thing with each version. So 1.14.4. Browse. Appdata.minecraft versions. 1.14.4. Forge. OK. Save. 1.12.2 edit browse app data dot minecraft versions 1.12.2 forge okay save this is going to tell minecraft where to find the mods for each version as you can see 1.12.2 is there now all the forge versions are there let's test out 1.7.10 So it's loading up. So far so good. No error messages. Let's check out our mods and see if they're in here. So there's Candy Craft, Damage Indicators, and My Crayfish. They all made it in here. Perfect. Let's test out another version. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to reload Minecraft. Let's try 1.14.4. Just click on it, hit play. It's loading up. It looks a little bit different, but we're gonna not worry about that. Let's click on mods. And there they are. Ring of Teleport, Shameless Mobs. They're both in there. Let's quit and let's see if the mods are in there for our last version, 1.12.2. Play. It's loading up. Let's click on mods. And there it is, Bibliocraft mod. I'm going to quit out of here and let's just try one more time and see if the game actually runs in uh, one of these versions. We'll try the latest one, 1.14.4. 1 we'll let it load up. And then we're going to start a uh, single player game here. We'll just call this new. We'll create new world. I'm going to make it a creative world and just create new world and see what it looks like. So here we are. My world has loaded up uh, for the very first time. Looks like uh, gameplay is working and generally if you don't get an error message and if it starts up that's a good sign so that's really about it guys I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching